Okay, we're back with game two of Legacy between Felix Tenetscher and Rodrigo Crespo Miguel. Felix took game one with his um, Eldrazi, colorless Eldrazi. Rodrigo's on uh, blue white stone blade. Rodrigo at the bottom of the screen. Rodrigo's kept his seven while Felix has mulligan to six. Rodrigo took down standard two games to zero, and Felix got back and took down modern two games to zero. So this is the, the deciding matchup. Just a tundra and a pass the turn. No turn turn two play from R Rodrigo either. Here's a chalice on one. Does Rodrigo have a counter spell? He'll force a will that. What's he get? And he exiles a snapcaster mage. The problem here for Felix, he hasn't got any of his uh, accelerator lands. No Eye of Ugin, no Eldrazi Temple. No City of Traitors. Well, there is red in Rodrigo's deck, so he's on a Jeskai Stone Blade. We just didn't see the red in game one. And here on the draw step, he's going to Vendillion click Felix. I don't know if this lets us see the hand as a spectator. It doesn't, so he just takes the thought knots here. So what's he got turn three? He's just lost his thought knots here. Does he have the, land, the important land drop? Yeah, there's a city of traders. So that, that enables him to play the... He can play this as a 4-4. Four four, but once he plays another land, city of traders is gone. And here's the stone forge. So what can he get this time? He's going straight for the GT. And he will cast it. Well, he doesn't get in with the Vendillion Cloak. Floats two mana when he plays the Eye of Ugin. Uh, and you'll play an Embringer. So. This is what the Embringer will take down the Vendillion Cleek once he loses and an endless one for two. Yeah, and he gets in with his own endless one, put Rodrigo to 13. Embringer can tap and do one damage to a target creature, so I believe Vendillion Cleek is not long for this world. But there's a timely wasteland from, from Rodrigo, so he can take out that eye. Here's an interesting card, Council's Judgment. Okay, so it's Exile, a non-land permanent you don't control. And it's Wasteland, ah, uh, sorry, Endbringer is down. So, Vendillion Cleek will survive. Oh, he forgot to... Is that on purpose? Did he not... equip the GT? Maybe he wants to flash in something at the end of the turn of Stoneforge. Oh, here's a Smasher. One card left in hand for, for Rodrigo. He might be trying to catch one of these one of these endless ones.
to smash your resolves. One card for, for Rodrigo. Wasteland's gonna go after what? Oh, he wastelands the tapped wasteland to protect his eye. It's a good play. And here comes the team. We'll see if Stoneforge is gonna activate. Yeah, so we're gonna get the Batter Skull in now. Batter Skull can take down the 2 2, or even trade with the 4 4 if he wants to bounce it. I don't think he will. Trade with the 2 2, yep. So he's only going to take 5, he'll drop to 8. He can equip the Gta and does he have enough going back? 4, 5, he's got 8 damage, so it'll put him to 9, plus he get the Gta's. Yeah, Rodrigo just skipped a little bit ahead there. He forgot to, to equip the GTA, so he asked for a rollback. Just keeping the Mystic back because Felix has got lethal on board, so if there's any sort of funny trick, another reality smasher, for example he can chump block the and there it is the, the other re reality smasher he can chump block the endless one of the mystic but felix is actually dead here i believe we're going to game three Fe felix cannot attack he has to hold us the smasher back he needs to block the batter skull And he recognizes that and just passes the turn. <coughs> so what's Rodrigo with one card left in hand? Oh, a second batter skull, at which he can hard cast. Onto the Vendillion clique. So that's going to drop Felix to three. I believe we're going to game three now. Oh no, sorry, he didn't hard cast, he just equipped the Vendillion clique. I believe there's no, no outs here for Felix. Yeah, we're going to game three.